All right, uh, today is January the 30th, 2018, and I felt a collection video is due. And um, so here we go. <laughs> so, a lot of empty boxes upstairs. I've sold most of it. Those are my cars uh, Disney Pixar cars. Cars. Uh, put them all in just one bin, I think. And do I have another one? Yep, one more bin of cars right there. Two bins, sorry, two, three bins of cars, that's it. Some old vintage toys. And as you can see, I've sold also a lot of the vintage toys, Disney toys and all that, uh, Beauty and the Beast left. Transformers, vintage toys. I've kept some of them um, for posterity's sake, you know. Nobody really wants to buy any of them, right? Some vintage Lego sets, Mega Bloks. Uh, Creos. I'm also trying to see if I can get rid of these, but I really like them. Um, I don't know. I might let go of them as, an, as a lot, but uh, not at the moment, really. Um, these are some of the KO Legos that I still have left. I thought they were pretty cool. Uh, they're very low in value, so no really real reason to sell them. Oh, the ones at the back are authentic Lego pieces. Uh, the uh, Disney and Simpsons are authentic, but every, all the Avengers Marvel figures are knockoffs. So here's my Batman shelf. Uh, the glare is just getting in the way, so I'm going to try and see if I can do this. Okay, <clears throat> how about that? So I've got two Batmobiles from Mattel. Uh, just my last few Batman figures. Just one figure left, and I think there's one inside that's like a, like a Mattel 5-inch figure. Here are the Hot Wheels Batman cars I've collected so far. Uh, some I've kept mint on card. That one is the animated Batman figure, and those are the uh, one, the bigger scale, the one six, one fiftieth, I think, or one. These are one sixty fours. Those are one, one forty eight, something like that. And just a couple more DC figures right here left over. That's it. I have no more DC figures except for that Wonder Woman. Figure wars. These are the last of the Joes that I have left. Those are have sentimental value. I don't know if, if my brother actually collected them uh, back in the day, but uh, I don't think anybody's interested in that. So, I'm trying to get, um, I'll probably get rid of those two. But I'll keep these as just the Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow um, piece. So, these are my Motooks, Masters of the Universe classics. We got He Man, Skeletor, Hordak. No, not Hordak. Uh, Tila, Sorceress, Evil Lynn, Man at Arms, uh, Swift Wind, Panthor, Bellcat, somewhere there. Um, and these are the Voltron, those are just empty boxes. Uh, these are the Netflix Voltron figures that I have, not reviewed them whatsoever. Sorry about that. All right, if you're familiar with this shelf, um, you'll know that this once used to be the Motuk shelf and sort all sorts of stuff, but I've disposed a lot of them. Um, I've kept these because they have sentimental value and they were mostly gifts. This was a gift for me, birthday gift back in the day, 99 or no, 2001, I think. That was a gift from my daughter, uh, my, my, my wife's old boss. This was a gift from a buddy of mine who was into the movie figures all of these creepy movie figures, horror movie figures, and he was trying to get rid, unload of a few stuff because he got married and he was moving. And so he gave me one of that. I, I'm keeping that for that. Uh, these were my earliest, oh, this is a setup that we have. Okay. This is a gift for my brother, um, who's now in Seattle. That was a gift for both of my brothers. Um, and these were gifts for my wife. Well, she wasn't my wife back then, technically. She was still my girlfriend. and. Uh, she was already giving me toys back then, so you can understand why I was very happy. Not among other things, um, she was she just really supported the hobby, and I, I, there's just not much you can say. Uh, she's just an amazing woman, and uh, <laughs> she continues to support my hobby to this day. These were gifts as well from my wife's old boss, very vintage. Um, before Mattel took over, uh, Jack Specific was the one doing the uh, wrestling figures, so I kept those. And these are from Kramer, Toy Warden, the Q, Q figures of Spider-Man and Captain America. I thought they were pretty neat. Um, the new Q figures are actually pretty cool, pretty dope. And, and here we are, finally, uh, in the bedroom. <laughs> 
the last stop and again very very empty walls now if you followed me back in my fx trans days and shuffletron days uh, these were full of joes gi joes and transformers were hanging there so full of lightsabers i've kept them um the rest of the lightsabers i decided to keep them because uh my kids sometimes like to do cosplay for star wars where they like they like playing with lightsabers and i'm not about to let them play with the force effects lightsabers or or well they could maybe if they wanted to but yeah plastic will do so um this shelf i am planning to move the content of these transformers toys onto some of the empty shelves over there we'll get to that in a while but um there's a bunch of revenge of the fallen this is revenge of the fallen has been my favorite transformers movie uh, era of all time for the toys because I just love the toys those were like the golden age of movie toys back then and they were just amazing toys and it went downhill from there but well they're, they're getting a resurgence so we'll see uh, again robots in disguise uh, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with these if I was just going to keep the good get the Autobots and dispose of the Decepticons or just keep some of the Decepticons some of the Autobots I, I don't know but um it's, it's occupying too much stuff and I don't really need some of the characters so mini cons and all that so out here uh, going down again the masterpiece I should definitely move them somewhere they're just it's not doing them justice they're just stacked up as boxes like a bodega or something like that yeah more masterpieces uh, they're just collecting dust and it's not it's not good for them uh, for posterity's sake so yeah um these three figures, I mean, I can't dream of what to do with them. Um, I don't want to get rid of that Optimus Prime because that's my MP10 display uh, mold, and I don't want to display my MP10. I'm not opening it up. Uh, that's Starscream. Um, trying to get the MP11 with a cape, but that one I decided to keep. Well, I tried to customize it, so it's got some damages on the on his, one of the thighs, and I've, I've brushed it with some pencil marks and all that to make it weathered and. Uh, I've done some work on that, some half-baked work, but the reason I'm keeping, I'm hanging on to it is because I love the show accurate Starscream. The Takara Tomy masterpiece uh, versions of Starscream have all been gray or dark blue or light blue, whatever, but Takara has not released, I, I, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, I think only Hasbro has released the show accurate masterpiece Starscream. Um, despite having those waist capes and all that, but that's the reason I'm keeping it because I love the colors in that one. And then that Grimlock, uh, I love the Masterpiece Grimlock, but that one, I'm trying to get another Masterpiece Grimlock. That one was a Toys R Us, um, the first one they released in the triangular box, and the batteries busted. I mean, the, the electronics have been busted because the batteries leaked, and I forgot to take them out. Um, and I'm trying to replace that. I'm trying to get a cheaper version of the latest King Grimlock, uh, whether it's the Takara Tomy first version or the reissue or the one with the throne or the, the new Toys R Us version with the sleeve. I, I, I'm still trying to figure out to get because I don't want to spend more than $100 for a replacement. Maybe $80 would be good, but uh, I'm trying to get rid of that to replace it. So we'll see. Death Star Puzzle and Infinity Gauntlet. I was on the verge of selling that a couple of years ago, but decided, you know, nobody wanted to take it. And now everybody's looking for it. I'm not letting it go because my kids want it. And Infinity War is coming up. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to let go of that. Guardians of the Galaxy, they are going to be transferred to the Marvel Legends shelf that back there. Um, I'll, I'll figure it out somehow once I've gone and once I've sold more pieces from the Marvel. I sold, I'm trying to sell, get rid of a lot of Marvel Legends uh, this, this time of the year and uh, we'll see. So this is the wall that used to be the... Uh, let me get on the bed. This used to be the uh, vintage collection wall and I've disposed a lot of the figures because... They were just, they've been depreciated and I made a mistake of hanging them on the wall. They were exposed to sunlight, dust and elements and humidity and the packagings weren't really great anymore. They weren't 100% and I wanted to get rid of them while they, while they still had value, okay? I've kept these, uh, well, for obvious reasons. If you've been following my channel, I love, <laughs> these are the characters that I love. My favorite characters of all time of Star Wars, so I've decided to keep them carded at least these guys and until we get a resurgence of the vintage collection um these are gonna stay okay out here are just empty boxes well most of them are empty boxes some are full definitely we got megatron um, 
some of the Unite Warriors, Ultra Magnus, uh, Trypticon, of course. Uh, it's a box. That one's min that one's my Millennium Falcon. That's for the Galactus. And these are my some of the lightsabers that don't fit in the other cabinet. All right, uh, Black Series shelf. Oh, okay, that one. God, look at that dust. So much dust. Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime and Jetfire. Gotta figure out a way where to put that. I have to transfer everything in the other side. Uh, some Star Wars Black. This has been the Black Series corner all year long. Um, oh, C-3PO Bandai kit. And, you know, I, I've been having a lot of fun with the Black Series. But uh, not all of them are great. And I've decided to get rid of some of them, as you can see. Um, some empty spaces right there. Uh, again, it goes back to my motto of keeping things 100%. So... If you're not 100%, let it go. Somebody else will take care of it. Okay, uh, some more Black Series right here. Black Series right there. And the, the ones at the back are the Rebels. Black Series, these are Praetorian Guards, and these are the Commanders. Uh, this shelf has been empty for a while. These shelves, those um, hooks, been empty for a long time. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing. So... Okay, and this is the armory. I've already shown you that. Nothing's changed. Just so you know what these are. These are my kids' toys. Uh, well, uh, Danny and Alex. And we just put them in bins because they like to dig up and play with them. And just to... They're out of box. They're ma ha Hot Wheels match boxes. Grocery gang. And, and um, Shopkins. You know, you know, PJ Masks. You know, all sorts of... Here is spinners. Plants vs. Zombies. All sorts of stuff, Legos, and that's where they keep them. And more stuff here from, uh, we got stuff from all of the uh, Hana, Hanazuki bracelet that Alex has. We got some Kinder Joy surprise toys, and yeah, Lucy, um, that's about it. Some odd stuff, some Happy Meal toys here and there. Okay, on to this part of the toy room, and Unicron, Gathering Dust, and whatnot. Uh, my Beast Wars toys are here. Um, and we got the uh, V Cons. I'm trying to move them somewhere there. Squeeze them right here if that's even possible. Some of my Generations Legends boxes and whatnot. Two Masterpiece figures right there. Trying to replace them. If I can save up for the Takara Tomy versions. God, they're just skyrocketing in price right now. Okay, let's start with this part before we go to over there. Okay, so this is what's left of my Marvel Legends collection. Uh, apart from the Guardians of the Galaxy, as you can see, I've, I've really streamlined them. I've not touched most of the movie figures because I love the MCU. I know there's not a lot of collectors for the MCU because they think they keep changing, the value goes down, but I, these are what's relevant to me right now and I'm, I'm, I'm hanging on to them, okay? I've gotten rid of a few figures, sure, but uh, keeping these guys. Uh, these are some of my favorites. I'm trying to get rid of a few of them as well. Um, but uh, that, that's it. That's it for my Marvel Legends. I'm really streamlining them. Oh, the Netflix one. Netflix ones are great. Okay. Um, pops. Uh, Marvel Pops are here. Sorry, my wife's stuff is all over the place. Um, she's like taking over the whole room. And... Anyway. Um, but uh, Marvel Pops. Star Wars Pops. And... This is the, like, I'm tr I should get a better place for this. This is the Stranger Things Pops. This is my main line. This is, I'm trying to get every single figure except the 8-bit ones and the FYE 2-packs because they're just the same. Um, the only ones I'm missing from the Wave 1 is the Think Geek exclusive, uh, Upside Down Will. And I have yet to get these guys. These are the ones I'm missing. And I need that 6-inch uh, Demogorgon, so... You know, on the way there and some miscellaneous stuff here we've got hellboy we got uh mortal kombat we got um oh, ghost face and two print uh the frozen princesses there and then uh uh diva and mecca and tracer uh, from overwatch all right here um here's my figures that i've kept I'm trying to keep mint in box i have to move that that God, you know, I got it. It got to move. It's got to go with the other G1 toys. Uh, but again, I, I, if you've uh, noticed, I've, I've gone to the 12 inch versions for Marvel Legends. That I feel that's the thing for me right now. I didn't think it was, but 
now that I look at it, this is the value is just so much better than than these guys. They they cost like double the price of these guys. And even if you multiply, like you buy two of those, like two Daredevils, it's not gonna be the same amount of plastic as the 12 inch Daredevil. So it's the, the disparity is just so big. And this is like the logical thing to do. If you're just, I'm not really into all, collecting all the Marvel figures. I just want the ones I like. So I'm trying to get into that. So some Alex's wands when he dresses up, as, when she dresses up as Harry Potter. Uh, some Star Wars Black Series here and there and all that. Here are my Generations Takara Tomy Legends Transformers um, cabinet, which I've kept. Uh, convention exclusive Metroplex and Fort Max and whatnot. I put all the Legends here and I don't try to display them anymore just to keep the value. Oh yeah. <laughs> kept that. Okay, so here are the ones in the pipeline. I'm trying to might make time to review these guys. So I do apologize if it's taking forever. This guy's been taking forever. I haven't even transformed him to this day. Uh, the Dinobots are there just waiting for the other two so we can combine them. And I got Ray's speeder right here. No plans of doing it soon. Uh, the latest last night movie figures and Age of Extinction. Age of Extinction last night, I put them together. Transformers Prime, some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna unbox it some sooner or later. Uh, Decepticon Generations, Autobot Generations. Some I've still yet to open the doubles and trying to open those. Autobots, Decepticons for Generations, the Wreckers. Um, Star Wars. This is what's left of my 3.75 inch Star Wars. It's a sad say I'm trying to, I might get rid of the, I, I don't know, but Rebels, Clone Wars, sequel trilogy, and some old trilogies and whatever, and prequels and whatever. Titans Return, and then Power of the Primes. And this is what's left of the animated shelf. This is what's left of the Star Wars vehicles, as you can see, that's it. Uh, Dark of the Moon, and Movie One. Movie One, Dark of the Moon. And that's my G1 reissues and whatnot. So, that is it. That's what's left of the collection. Um, <laughs> comment let me know what you guys think should I get rid of more stuff should I keep some of the stuff I mean this is it uh, from the days of FX Rans from filled with the toy room now it's trying to keep things 100% trying to keep stuff with value and uh, here we are so hope you've enjoyed this little video review uh, the update of the toy collection until next time thanks for watching